Hi everyone, I thought today we could read some stories about wind and kites. And our first one is called Someone Bigger. It was written by Jonathan Emmett and illustrated by Adrian Reynolds. Someone Bigger. Sam and Dad made a kite. They'd made it large, they'd made it light. They went out on a windy day to see if they could fly it. Can I hold it first, asked Sam. I'm old enough, I know I am. No, you're too small, his dad replied. This kite needs someone bigger. Then dad let go and launched the kite, unwound the string and held it tight, while Sam stood by and watched and wished that he was someone bigger. But the wind blew hard and the kite flew high and pulled Sam's dad into the sky and Sam went running after. Can I hold it now, asked Sam. I'm old enough, I know I am. No, you're too small, his father cried. This kite needs someone bigger. The kite flew up above the town where people tried to pull it down. A postman with a sack of mail, a bank robber escaped from jail. A policeman riding on a horse, a bridegroom and his bride, of course, but all of them were pulled up too and Sam went running after. Can I hold it now, asked Sam. I'm old enough, I know I am. No, you're too small, the people cried. This kite needs someone bigger. And then by some strange stroke of luck, they flew right past a fire truck. And when the firemen saw the kite, they grabbed the string and held on tight. But all of them were pulled up too, and Sam went running after. Can I hold it now, asked Sam. I'm old enough, I know I am. No, you're too small, the fireman cried. This kite needs someone bigger. The kite flew on, it would not fall. It pulled a rhino from its stall. And other creatures from the zoo, a tiger and a kangaroo. Yes, all of them were pulled up too. And Sam went running after. Can I hold it now, asked Sam. I'm old enough, I know I am. No, you're too small, the creatures cried. This kite needs someone bigger. But then Sam caught the kite at last. He grabbed the string and held it fast. And even when he wound and wound, his feet stayed firmly on the ground. And one by one, they came back down, everyone from zoo and town. Rhino, tiger, kangaroo, fireman, bride, and bridegroom too. Postman, policeman, robber, horse, and last of all, Sam's dad, of course. I'll hold it now, said Sam, because I'm old enough. I knew I was. I'm not too small. And as you see, this kite needs someone just like me. Sam was big enough. This one is called Share Big Bear Share. It was written by Maureen Wright and illustrated by Will Hillenbrand. Share, Big Bear, share. Here we go. Big Bear smiled and rubbed his tummy. The berries he picked were very yummy. He lounged by a tree and laughed with glee. These berries, he said, are just for me. Birds and squirrels and two little mice thought the berries looked very nice. But Bear just sighed with a dreamy grin, hugged his pail, and dug right in. Branches shook on the old oak tree. A deep, low voice said, listen to me. Share, Big Bear, share. Somehow Bear misunderstood. He didn't pay attention like a good bear should. He thought the tree said in the deep green woods, Hair, Big Bear, hair. My hair, said Bear, are you sure? All right, I guess I'll comb my fur. He slicked his fur back nice and neat, then picked a berry and started to eat. His friend Little Rabbit and a curious deer smelled the berries and they tiptoed near. Branches shook on the old oak tree. A deep, low voice said, listen to me. Share, Big Bear, share. Somehow Bear misunderstood. He didn't pay attention like a good bear should. He thought Tree said in the deep green woods, Lair, Big Bear, lair. 
Lear means home, said Bear. It's true. So I'll go home like you told me to. He lumbered nearby to his cozy den, peeked in the window at home and then, scampered back to the old oak tree and gobbled berries merrily. Branches shook on the old oak tree. A deep low voice said, listen to me. Share, Big Bear, share. Somehow Bear misunderstood. He didn't pay attention like a good bear should. He thought Tree said in the deep green woods, Chair, Big Bear, chair. He found a stump and rolled it over, swerving around the bee-filled clover. He plopped his rump on a smooth tree stump and popped in a berry so juicy and plump. Branches shook on the old oak tree. A deep low voice said, Listen to me. Share, Big Bear, share. Somehow Bear misunderstood. He didn't pay attention like a good bear should. He thought Tree said in the deep green woods, Scare, Big Bear, scare. Bear knew just what to do. He jumped in the air and he yelled out, Boo! Then Bear sat down and said, Yum, yum. Eating berries is lots of fun. The old tree yelled, be nice and share. Don't you know that's only fair? You like it when friends share with you. It's the thoughtful thing to do. Share, Big Bear, share. Well, said Bear, you could have told me before. He turned to his friends on the forest floor. Forgive me, please, he nicely said. I'm all mixed up inside my head. How could I forget to share? Come everyone, there are berries to spare. His friend said, thank you, these are sweet. We're glad you shared your summertime treat. I like to share, Big Bear sighed. It makes me happy deep inside. They gobbled berries and giggled with glee beneath the shade of the old oak tree. Yeah, look, they all read a story together. Our last story today is one called Kite Day, and it was written and illustrated by Will Hillenbrand, the you know, illustrator who did Share Big Bear Share. Here we go. Kite Day. And it is a bear and mole story. Bear looked at the sky. Could it be, he wondered? He tilted his head up. <laughs> whiff, whiff, whiff. He smiled, and then he shouted, Kite Day! Bear rushed home. Huff, huff, huff. Come on! Bear waved to Mole. Kite day is here! Bear collected. Mole studied. Bear snatched. Bear measured and cut. Mole drew. They both constructed. Finally, they raced outside to the meadow. The kite flew. Zoom, zoom, zoom. It soared. Then dark, heavy clouds rolled in. Rumble, rumble, rumble. The breeze grew into a gust. Then, snap, the kite string broke. Away, 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 spun the kite. Oh, no, screamed Mole and Bear. Down, 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 plunged the kite. Save the kite, shouted Mole. Hurry, hurry, urged Bear. Mole stopped. He tilted his head up. Splat, splat, splat. Rain pelted the broken kite. Look, cried Bear. Oh, sighed Mole. Chirp, 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 squeaked the chicks. Thank you, sang the mother bird. Look, their kite made an umbrella for the baby birds. I thought today we could make a kite of our own. Really simple bird kites. All you need is a piece of paper, some string, stapler, and maybe a hole punch. All you have to do is take a piece of paper and fold it in half, just like that. And then what you're going to do is take one corner and fold it over to about a third of the way down. You're gonna take the other side and do the same thing. And when you're done, it'll look like that. Maybe kind of like a little heart in there. 
I'm going to take a stapler and stapler. And take a hole punch and punch a hole right about there. Tie a string and you have a kite. Easy, easy. Mine looks like this. I decorated mine a little bit. I gave them some eyes. I glued a beak inside the fold there and some feathers inside the fold there. And now it's ready to go run outside and fly my kite behind me. So have some fun playing with your birds and until next time, Bye-bye from Miss Arlene.